Say this, what, something I just learned in the commercial break. Hmm. This woman ran 15 miles yesterday. Were you being chased? Why, why were, you, were you running? Yes, uh, with, with the memory of the Boston Marathon behind me. Oh. I didn't have a good enough time, and I want, I'm running the New York City Marathon for Folds of Honor um, with the Major Dan Rooney, who's a former fighter See pilot. Guys? He's a bad mamma jamma. So They're out for a run. I gotta be able to try to keep up with him. Man, but, you know, by the way, I should say she mentioned it parenthetically. We're talking about a song. She said, "Yeah, I put it on repeat yesterday in my run." I said, "How far did you run?" She goes, "15 miles." 15 miles. It's <laughs> impressive. If I ran 15 miles, I'd have that tattooed on my hand just so you could see it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody, put it in flash. <laughs> yeah, I did. Believe All right. Well, I'm hurt this morning. We have some other headlines we want to get to. She's a real pretty bride. Yes, yeah, she is. She is my lovely. goodness. Yes. Just like Stevie Wonder said. And now she's much wiser. That's his last name, Wiser. Oh, pretty good. Yes. Yes. Really okay, smart. let's move on. Healthy, wealthy, and wise. Okay. All right, other stories making headlines. and people, Some people are that way. I think when I'm smiling, I look really happy, but when I'm just standing there like this, people are like, what's wrong? I'm like, sullen. nothing's wrong. Resting, but, no. grouchy face. Yeah. I work with two it. people in Philadelphia. They don't have a smile reflex. I know that they're happy people, but they never, ever smile. Who are they? Can you name them? And, I maybe. would. But I won't. <laughs> okay. All hey, right. Speaking of studies, academics have gotten on a vital question that you probably wondered sure. about before. Who is better at the grill, men or women? So like grilling steaks, burgers, and stuff grilling like steaks, that. Grilling steaks, burgers outside. It's weird. Who are the better grillers, according to this? I think it's just because the men typically like to get outside of the house so they don't have, have to listen to the women do this. And they can just stand outside and, and drink beer as they're grilling. And maybe they're focusing on the beer drinking more than, than but the But you're meats. right. Women will cook in the house. But why do the guys want to cook outside? They want to get away from the women. They want to be outside. Plus, you can relieve yourself outside. Look, I don't grill. I don't cook at all. I do takeout. But I, I have to say I'm rooting for the men in this case. They're behind in every category. Category: college graduation, starting salary. Seriously, they're in trouble. Yeah. There should be some place left in America for dudes. And it's hot when a man can not grill and wear a tool belt and change a tire and all that stuff. So get out there on the grill. Well, let's Rick see. Rick Reichmuth is, is doing some grilling I today. I bet he's with him. That's amazing. Let's yeah. do it. Why wouldn't he? Because it was National Bacon Day yesterday. You know what I went and got, Baxter? Yummy, yummy. It's bacon! Ba strips. Baxter being Anna's beloved My dog. dog. Bacon! There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, ISIS in Mexico. That I introduced Pierce Brosnan to his wife. No, no way. She was a co-host on a show I was doing. We were in Mexico. He played Mexico. And he walks by and goes, oh. How did it work out? Uh, they're still married. Nice. Uh, okay, so uh, Pierce Brosnan, and there was somebody else, but uh, we, we've moved on. Someone uh, else. Was it was Sarah Jessica oh, Parker. Even better. They both Sarah. sat down with Kevin McCarthy to talk about their new adventures. Kevin McCarthy joins us now. He's a TV really changed with 24 with Jack Bauer. The way that was shot right, more was like good. a movie than TV. All right, anyway, coming up on Fox and Friends, President Obama coming under fire for saying he has no strategy to combat ISIS. So how damaging were those? He said that, didn't well, That's right. It's time for Fox, Fox and, and Friends. Friends. Good hey, morning, Andy And stay Coyne. tuned for the entire hour because we have puppies on the plaza, how yep. Fido will not get lost while you're on your Labor Day vacation. We've got apps and gadgets. Does anybody name his dog Fido anymore? <laughs> it's very cliche, isn't people it? should. Really? On it. the base. Yeah. What was the word you couldn't say, I don't know? And then they would slime you? Oh, yeah, they'd slime you. Yeah. Uh, slimy double dare, or whatever it was called. Nice. Physical challenge. Well, good morning. Thanks We've for got watching a lot to tell you about this morning. Yep, we're going to get right to those headlines. And we Thanks, 24 minutes after the hour. Do you ever wonder why your body responds to things the way that it does? Like, why do certain things taste bad to you? And what's with women always being colder than men? Well, there are actually real scientific reasons for all those health habits. And joining us now, thank you for having me. People up with us this morning, hopefully drinking a piping hot cup of coffee, but like cold coffee. Well, it's the eating. same thing. So okay. it's cold. And so therefore, it doesn't taste as bitter as it would at room temperature. Nice. All right, next up we have, why do I hate the sound of my voice on a recording? According to the battle of the sex is very often. Why is it that women are always colder than men? Women can feel it in my bones. Is that true? Do achy joints really predict the weather? There is proof that it can. So when the uh, when temperature drops, there's been studies that show people with knee arthritis can feel. Where I, I can I can feel it in my bones. Well, when science says you're right. <laughs> very good. I was reading your article because I travel a lot for this job. Is that food tastes really bland when you're in an airplane, right? And it's because your your tooth or your uh, taste buds go numb. Yeah, it's not the food. Necessarily, it's it coming up on Fox and Friends. A major breakthrough for treating heart failure: the new discovery that could save your life. And no. Great